Our guest is Deanna Oppenheimer. Deanna is the founder of Cameo Works, a retail and financial services investing firm. Deanna received her degree in politics and government and urban affairs from the University of Puget Sound. Deanna, you've had a highly successful business career, both in the U.S. and Europe. You were named Britain's Business Communicator of the Year in 2007. American Banker Magazine voted you the second most powerful woman in banking in 2010. This doesn't sound like a typical career path for a liberal arts graduate. Could you explain how liberal arts education may have prepared you for this kind of career? Liberal arts education lets you uh, try a lot of different paths, and so you can take kind of controlled risk-taking. Uh, you don't have to lock in on one thing early on, and so I looked at a, and explored a lot of different uh, ideas and disciplines when I was in, in university. When I went on then, um, when I left, I had a political science degree, so I went back to Washington, D.C., then I moved back to the West Coast, and I was looking at getting in business, but I thought if I took that degree and looked at previously regulated businesses that were going through deregulation, I'd have a leg up. And I also knew from my liberal arts education that I knew how to integrate thoughts like that together. So that's what got me into banking. The global aspect of your career is especially interesting. How did that happen? Was that something you were always interested in? You know, the international experience was really interesting because I had had a fabulous career. I had been 20 years at a bank that grew from a very small regional bank. We grew it to one of the top 10 banks in the country and had some great success for it. We were named one of the top um, store concepts in the world, the most innovative retail bank in the Americas. And that, again, was a liberal arts background, that we did a lot of innovative things in banking that weren't being done at the time. We weren't afraid to try new things. And so what happened was, after about 20 years, I thought, you know, I've been here, it's been great, but it's time to kind of leave and do something else. And I got a call uh, from Barclays Bank, which, again, when I was in university, I had studied abroad, and Barclays had been my bank when I'd been in London. So I knew I liked London, I knew I liked that bank, and I pursued that and ended up being recruited in to be their chief executive for their retail business in the UK and Europe. Could you talk a bit about exactly what Cameo Works does? You bet. So when I was coming back from being an executive in Europe, uh, my husband, who had been such a great support, uh, I said, you know, this is going to be a turnaround that will be probably two to three years. I ended up there seven uh, because the financial crisis hit in the midst of it. So I ended up coming back to Seattle, and there really aren't big global retail banks to run in Seattle. So I had to reinvent. And again, that great liberal arts background gave me the confidence to know that I could look and explore a lot of different things. So what Cameo Works does is I serve on global boards as a fiduciary director for big boards in Europe and um, in the East Coast of the United States. But the way I stay relevant is I bridge that by working with early stage companies that are between their A and C level round of funding on the West Coast primarily. So I have great disruptors and innovators on the West Coast, um, and that experience really helps large corporates understand disruption, digitalization, and the new way of doing business. My experience with big companies really helps those smaller companies understand how to sell, scale, and expand their products. What advice would you give to a college student interested in a career in the financial sector? Well, first off, the financial sector is not for the faint of heart, um, but it is the perfect place for a liberal arts student to pursue. Because I think what's really needed in financial services now and any industry that's getting disrupted is you need to have IQ blended with EQ. You need to have the left brain working very strongly with the right brain. You need to be incredibly interdisciplinary and you need to understand things for, uh, that are happening in other industries before they happen to you. And that is exactly the skill set that a liberal arts education gives somebody to go with. 
I will say, unlike when I took off, probably my one year of accounting and my one year of economics is not going to be enough of the technical education to take you to the top of the complexity in financial services now. So I think the perfect blend, if you want to go up to that C-suite, which I would encourage them to do, is to get that liberal arts education in your undergraduate and then to work a few years, go back and get your advanced MBA. Thank you, Deanna. It's been a pleasure talking to you today.